Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Gothically Yours, Professor M. I'm Professor M, and today's rant today is all about the 80s goth scene, alternative scene, and the lost art of DIY, which is pressing heavily on my heart, and I need to share with all those who are out there, especially the baby bats. So today, join me. And I also want to share with you today about the DIY lost art that we are losing in the goth community today. Being a child of the 80s, we used to make everything, we used to do everything, we used to design everything by ourselves. We didn't have all these stores, we didn't have all this clickety-click stuff like that. Any baby bat tuning in right now, to me, the more DIY you do, the better. Save your money. Go out and be totally original. For everyone listening to me, who subscribes to me, who is tuning in to me, the highest mark in the goth world that I can think of is DIY. It is a total benchmark in your gothiness. We didn't have all the stuff back in the 80s. We had to go find stuff and create it. We wanted to create something, rip something, sew something, put pins in something. It was this amazing world of going to thrift stores or getting something, altering it, sewing it, dyeing it with writ dye, changing it, altering it, creating it and making it your own. Totally, totally, totally. And this is what's been on my heart is I don't know today, but, like, would you seriously want to go to a club and see another person wearing the exact same thing that you were wearing that night? What would you do? It'd be like a total turnoff, like when you both see each other, like, ugh. It's like, uh, I was here first, maybe you should go home and change your clothes. No. Would you do that? I'm going to tell you not to. That is totally not cool. If I did meet somebody, if Professor M met somebody who had the same exact outfit on, which is very uncoincidental, but uh, <laughs> uh, if I met somebody who had the same exact clothes on that I had, and I said, I would say to them, wow, we both have really good taste. <laughs> that would, I, that's what I would say, you know? Like, <laughs> That's what you should. Politeness and kindness. You should be kind to all your goth brothers and sisters. That's how we create an awesome community. Going back to the 80s, there wasn't a time when you could just go to a place called Hot Topic, which I gotta say, I've never been to one of these stores. I'm a DIY type of guy. I will take it, I'll rip it, I'll shred it, I will alter it, create something that I want to create and you know, transcribe it so it becomes mine, not someone else's identity, someone else's concept. Originality matters. I don't want our future generations to become cookie cutters. It's like Get out there and DIY it. Do it yourself. Dye it, alter it, create it, change it. You know, make fashion, fashion, right? During this 80s time period, I mean, I'm talking Vivian Westwood here, okay? She was at the punk thing, the whole, um, you know, what was the other band I used to listen to? PIL, Public Image Limited. I didn't have all these things, okay? Public Image Limited. Vivian Westwood. She had this idea of using safety pins and putting the thing God Save the Queen on, on that and create. That's how she became a fashion designer. She was a DIY type of girl, just at the right place at the right moment, at the right period of time, and doing what she really enjoyed doing, and it caught on. That became her theme, her vibe, her, her concept of her life. I actually have a picture of her on my wall in my office. That's how much I respect her. We never had all of these uh, dyes that they have today to color your hair and stuff. We had to go out and get hydrogen peroxide. And I had another friend who used to use like food coloring and jello to dye her hair. And um, things like 
black lip lipstick. I had one friend named Mary Jo. She actually had a tube of black lipstick during the 80s. How coveted was that? Because, 80, you know, during the 80s, who was producing this stuff? Not Avon. Ding dong, Avon. No, I'm sorry. That stuff did not exist during the time. So we had to go out and find this stuff. I don't want to say that we, we suffered through this imposing desert to find stuff, but going out and getting army boots and chains and dyeing leather jackets and or cutting stuff up and creating a more awesomeness of originality that I don't see today in the goth community. I don't see as much of it. I, been on Pinterest for some time and watching photographers shoot beautiful gothic models. I do not know if these people are really goth or not, or they're just models, but, and they, they have these dresses and they have other guys with top hats on, some of this. I don't really know if it's real or not, but it's so perfectly made, it is so well designed, it is so not DIY. And it's in a scene where you have like a castle-y type of something or other and there's lighting and... I just feel like there was something lost between 1989-ish and where we are now. Are you mopping what I'm spilling? If so, leave me a comment down below. I'm always looking to hear what other people have to say about anything. I have met so many incredible people within one year of being on YouTube sharing about this passion. I woke up, like I said, I woke up one day and I said I wanted to share uh, about this and go full force into talking about DIY and gothic things and all things goth. I have my friend Cedric back there. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. All things goth, right, Cedric? <laughs> okay. So let me also share with you one more thing. Um, as you know, I have a lot of rings on. I love rings. If you cannot find what you are looking for in a ring, design it. Make it, alter it, paint it, do whatever. I wanted to show you two amazing things. This is the first one. This is a solid silver, yeah, solid silver cast uh, ring with an onyx stone on it. And I'm going to show you the next one to it. This is also a cast ring. But it came with a tiger eye stone on it, and I painted it black, DIY, because it was this, I love this, I just couldn't find what I was looking for. Stop buying, start making. You like something, go out and alter it, change it to it. Black Friday, she showed one day how she painted jewelry. Um, incredible, like, it's so easy. Stop buying. Stop spending your money on all kinds of stuff that is, you know, it's, it's pre-made. And I've always worried about that whole go to the nightclub scene and finding somebody who's dressed just like me. I don't want to have be like that. I don't want to ever be like that. I don't want to be like anybody else. I want to be myself all the time. Original. There should be no one like you in all over the world. You are original in all over the world. And you know that. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. You are original in all over the world. So why want, do you want to be like somebody else? Just be yourself. All oh, these candles smell so nice. Okay, so on to my little silver friend over here. This was so easy to make. Check this out. Check this out. Come on. If I don't start a revolution, if I don't start a revolution in this 2020s new goth generation, forgive me. Fashion, my friends. Gothic fashion. I love goth music, but I tell you, without the music, there would be no fashion. And fashion inspires me. I had created this. This was a polysynthetic resin poured model of a spider that I got at a um, art and, arts and crafts store in a, a container of like bugs and things like that. I went home and painted it black, and then I did a brush tone of silver over it. It is called um, 
Acrylic Silver number 995. It was an alpha brand, pure silver, in a tube, and just brushed over it. On the back is a little pin. See the pin? Okay, this is what it looks like. You can get these things. I got I got the spider at the craft store. I got the pin at the craft store. What's holding you back? Go out and make a hundred of them. Go out and find all the different kinds of... Who in the world's got one of these? Professor M does. <laughs> How original is that? Creating stuff. Making stuff. That is the lost art of DIY today. We need to get back to more and more DIY. I can think of countless people that I remember was like sewing and other goth brothers and sisters saying, I wish I could find someone who could like sew this design and I want this bat on this thing and I want pillows and uh, uh, things that they put in their apartment, all DIY. Don't like it? Paint it. Sorry to go back so far to say these words. Going into my DIY talk. The Rolling Stones. Now, if you don't know who the Rolling Stones is, <laughs> oh my god, uh, oh, please find out. Rolling Stones wrote a song called, I, want, I, I See a Red Door and I Want to Paint It Black. That is the culmination of the goth nation. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. No colors anymore, I want them to turn black. You want it? Design it. Make it, create it, make it your own. It's all up to you. You have the freedom, the power, the artistic license is given to you to go out and create, design, and produce the world that you want to inhibit. Well, I'm going to end out my gothic rant for today. I'm sending my gothic vibes to all my brothers and sisters out there. Please leave me a message down below. Things you would like for me to talk about in the future. If you would like for me to talk about things in, in the future. If you enjoy my programming. <laughs> I enjoy you coming and sharing your comments with me. So, signing out right now. And return now to our wonderful world of DIY Gothically Yours. Professor M.